from Las Vegas, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your Cruise News Briefs for Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Stuck in Vegas. Thank you, Tropical Storm Fred. On Monday, MSC Cruises celebrated one year since it resumed voyages after the industry shut down. On August 16th, 2020, MSC Grandiosa became the first ship to restart cruises when it embarked on a seven-night cruise from Genoa, Italy. A year later, the company has 10 cruise ships sailing across Europe and the Caribbean, more than any other cruise line. And more MSC ships are scheduled to come online in the coming weeks and months, and the plan is to have the full fleet back by early 2022. And Disney Cruise Line has canceled the September 4th sailing on Disney Fantasy. Those who have paid in full will receive a 125% future cruise credit, and those who have not yet paid in full will receive a refund. In addition, the ship's seven-night September 11th, 18th, 25th, and October 2nd cruise have been shortened to four nights. The new four-night itineraries will feature two stops at Castaway Key with no other ports of call. Disney did not give a reason for the change, but did say that it expects to resume seven night cruises and longer on October 9th. And finally, Bar Harbor, Maine is considering limiting the number of cruise ships that visit the Frenchman Bay port. Currently, the town has a cap of 3,500 passengers per day in the high season and 5,500 per day in the shoulder season with no limit on cruise ship days. The town council is considering limiting the July and August to 10 days of cruise ships per month with only 1,000 passengers allowed to disembark per day. The council is set to decide this week whether it'll send its figures to the cruise ship committee for a final vote. And Monday was National Roller Coaster Day. Of course, we have that first roller coaster at sea, Bolt, aboard Carnival's Mardi Gras. And since I'm stuck here in Las Vegas, I actually went to the roller coaster behind me here at the New York, New York Hotel. You see some footage here. Really fun. And uh, yeah, I almost thought I was going to drop my phone a couple of times, but I didn't. Cruise Line stocks were down on Monday. Carnival Corporation, less than a half percent, 22.79. Royal, the same, 78.43. And Norwegian, down 1.6, 24.63. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Here in Vegas, I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.